Hi there, it's Jennifer. Today I wanted to show you a couple, three ways to pin your bangs back. Um, they're pretty simple and I'm sure you've seen them before, but I just thought I would show some of the ways that I like to pin my bangs back, especially since the spring and summer season is coming soon. Um, so the first one, most of these just take bobby pins and they're pretty simple. So, um, for the first one, it's just kind of like uh, twisted bangs. So I'll just show you how I do that. So I just take my bangs, divide them into a section into two. Add to the section, twist. Kind of like a French braid, but just with two sections. Just keep adding and twisting. Once I get to my temples, I'll just add one more. And then I'll just twist a little more. Then I take this hair and just kind of move it to the side. I'll pin down this section. Okay, bring this hair over just to cover the bobby pins um, so you can have it like this. I like to have a little bit of volume um, so I just gently pull some pieces out. Not out but I just kind of loosen it up. And there we go. Bangs are pinned back. Okay, so the next one is kind of a French, kind of French braided bangs. So what I do is section off my bangs. I just start on. I like to start with a thicker section. And then we'll just French braid our bangs. This one's pretty easy. The key is to try to keep the braid close to the front. because it's going to tend to go back. But, and again, I like to just go right to the temples. And then I like to just continue to braid it a little, little bit more. Push this hair back. And because I like a little bit of volume, I just like to push it forward and then I'll pin it. And then again, I like to just take a little, make a little bit of volume. If you want, you can pin a bobby pin right here just to make sure the braid doesn't move. And there we go. Some braided bangs. That's look number two. Okay, and the third look is a French braid again, um, but it is going towards the back or kind of side. So, I could take a section. Divide it into three. Oops. There we go. 
Um, so for this one, you don't want it to go completely straight back. You kind of want it to go back, but down the side. So you just got to keep in mind which direction it's going. Okay. So if you want to stop and pin it here, exactly the same way as I did before, kind of putting some hair. You might want to stop a little higher up. <laughs> that didn't work. Yeah, you'd have to stop just above the ear. Just so, you know, for the next time. Sorry. But I'll just show you one other look. So, what you would do is continue to do a regular braid. All the way down. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, just trying to get into the braid routine. So we're going to braid all the way down to the ends. And with a clear elastic, we are then going to take our hair and put it back into a ponytail. Now there's going to be a line right here, so I like to just loosen up this one side, just so that the line's not so, um, so noticeable. And then again, I like to just loosen up the top here, and then we have red braid on one side, and regular on the other side. There's a few looks that I like to do throughout the summer just to kind of keep my bangs back and for this one kind of keep my hair back and they're really quick and easy to do. So please let me know if you've tried any of these or if you have any other ideas that I can try um, and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and you can also see other tutorials on my YouTube channel or you can go um, to my blog which is beautyunder10.blogspot.ca Thank you so much. Have a great day.